Through most of the afternoon, though, it tended to end Lafayette Northwestward by midday and early, early afternoon hours here. These are the snowfall totals. I notice how they vary a lot from a trace in parts of Warren County to as much as an inch here in Clinton County. And the thing is, much of this has melted as the sun is starting to come out in the area. Third of an inch to as much as a half inch in parts of Cass and Miami counties, less in parts of White County, even up to the north, it varied a lot, anywhere from near an inch to only around a tenth of an inch. And in Newton County, I did receive one report near Kentland of a half an inch of snow. But now those snow showers are pulling off to the east and the sun's starting to come out in the viewing area. So it's still snowing in parts of Ohio, parts of eastern Indiana, a couple flurries up towards Rochester. But for us, it's not a bad evening, albeit a little cool. But as we get into tonight and tomorrow, two things are going to happen. First of all, this little wave out to the west will move uh, eastward and southeastward. That'll bring some snow showers. And also there's a little bit of a wave up here in Wisconsin where we may see some additional snow showers form up here as we get into the overnight. And they all point towards another round of some flurries and snow showers for our viewing area again tonight and through part of tomorrow. And there could be some very, very minor accumulations of less than an inch in places. And it will get much colder tonight as the Arctic air comes in. The wind cranking up to 17 by 6. And notice wind chills as low as 2 above by tomorrow morning. And for tomorrow itself, a lot of clouds, perhaps a little sun, windy, flurry snow showers, low 20s, when it will struggle our way to the low 20s with wind chills generally in the single digits all day. And they're the highest viewing area wide from 23 Lafayette, 24 Romney, and only about 23 at Burlington, as well as Logansport. Notice on Futurecast, again, this is tomorrow morning, and Futurecast not indicating much, but it didn't indicate much snow today either. I tend to disagree with that. I think there will be at least some scattered flurries and snow showers around once again. That'll be the case through the afternoon hours, but they'll tend to get out of here tomorrow evening. We get clearing tomorrow night. We'll drop all the way down to near 10 or 11 degrees for Sunday, uh, Saturday night, early Sunday morning. This is Sunday at 3 p.m. No skies are partly cloudy, but clouds will be on the increase uh, Sunday evening into Sunday night, and that precedes a round of rain on Monday. It may start out as a very brief period of a little bit of sleep, but most of this is going to be rain, and this rain may end as a very brief period of snow that won't amount to much at all. Now, later on next week, much bigger system, a lot of wind with it, and interesting precip here. We may start out as some snow once we get into Thursday night and Friday, and then it may kind of change over to ice and then go over to rain for a while before it ends as a few flurries. So pretty much Thursday night right through next Friday and early Saturday, we've got to watch for a significant storm system. And if you're headed northward, there could be an all out blizzard from Iowa, southern Wisconsin over to Michigan. But here it's just kind of a mixed bag that will eventually change to rain. Seven day forecast. There's your 29 Sunday, but rising Sunday night, 44 Monday. And again, Tuesday, that rain, it may end as a little snow, should not be a big deal. Then the bigger system is late next week. That may start out as a little bit of snow and ice Thursday night and eventually change over to rain before ending.